بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and first and foremost Allah سبحانه وتعالى all throughout the Quran told us to avoid the major sins to avoid sin at all at all at all cost to worship Allah سبحانه وتعالى make tawbah to Allah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives our sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said fi kitab al-kareem and we have to keep this in mind especially while we're in the holy month of Ramadan may Allah forgive us of our sins and accept our, our fasting. Qala subhana inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushrika bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalika liman yasha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says verily Allah does not forgive or very Allah forgives all sins except shirk and he forgives whomsoever other than that as he pleases subhanah so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives us we're never too late bi idnillah as long as the time for tawbah is still open to receive the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to receive his rahmah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in a hadith al-qudsi in the rahmah in the rahmati taglibu ghaddibi verily my mercy supersedes my wrath this is the ni'mah of allah our lord subhanahu wa ta'ala who we worship and may allah forgive us for our shortcomings in worship and bless us to be stronger believers in him subhanahu and among some of those sins that we should avoid is mentioned in a hadith the Prophet of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi عن Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As رضي الله تعالى عنهما عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الكبائر إشراق بالله وعقوق والدين وقتل النفس واليمين الغموس رواه بخاري The Prophet ﷺ said the major sins, Al-Kaba'ir. This is one narration about the Kaba'ir, and there's many narrations talking about some of the seven deadly sins and, and, and so forth. And there's more than seven, but the Prophet ﷺ especially emphasized a particular seven in one of his authentic hadith narrations, alayhi salatu wasalam. And this one he mentioned, the Kaba'ir, he mentioned which being the first and the greatest sin that we can do. So we never should forget this. And we should always learn what is Tawheed and what is Shirk and how to avoid Shirk. The Prophet ﷺ said, Al-Ishraq Billah. So committing Shirk. So we have to know what Shirk is, how to stay away from it. And that's what we mentioned in the beginning when we mentioned the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushrika bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalika liman yasha. Verily Allah does not forgive Shirk. But He forgives other than that for whomsoever He pleases. Letting us know that shirk is so serious and it's a major sin and we have to avoid it at all costs. We have to know what it is, know that we can't make tawaf around graves, we can't put our, our trust in the dead, we cannot pray to the dead, supplicate to the dead, and all these other forms of false worship. Worship more than one God, worship other than Allah, worship the Prophet wasallam. supplicate to the Prophet wasallam. Supplicate to Moses, supplicate to Abraham, supplicate to Jesus, alayhim abdul salatu salam. We can't do any of that. But our worship goes to Allah. So shirk is the first one to avoid. And then the Prophet said, wa akuka walidain, also being obedient to the parents. And may Allah forgive us of our shortcomings and help us this very day to be better with being obedient to our parents, helping them, assisting them in whatever they need. May Allah Preserve our parents and those who have non-Muslim parents. May Allah guide them. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. And then the Prophet ﷺ said, Wa qatala nafs. Killing, uh, killing yourself, suicide. Or killing, actually killing uh, anyone who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited for you to kill. So killing people unlawfully. Those people who commit terrorism acts. Those people who commit... Uh, suicide bombings, those people who do all these wicked and foolish, ignorant things and do things which they have no right to do so. 
harming others by and killing them. This is a major sin that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala detests. And the Prophet sallallahu warned us against, alayhi salatu wasalam. And the last one, al-yameen al-ghamus. Al-yameen al-ghamus, I believe what's meant here, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, is swearing and giving false testimony. So that's something also a major sin, and may Allah help us and bless us to be truthful, to be of the sadiq, sadiqeen, those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with and who, who are the truthful ones. Those are some of the major sins, and they're the ones that are mentioned in this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.